we have to read an input file line by line. This is the file that will be placed on the desktop. The name of the file is record.txt. Each record contains two data items separated by a comma. The first part is of exactly five characters and contains a supplier code. And the second part is a numeric amount. We have to process the file and produce an output file called report.txt. This file contains the same records but sorted in ascending order of the bill amount. The sum total of all the bills has to appear at the end. First of all, create a C Sharp console project supporting the latest .NET Core and the C Sharp version 11 or later. Version 11 is important here. Create a models folder and add a record class called supplier bills to hold two properties string supplier and int bill amount. Next, let us complete the program.cs file. First, we create a list to hold all the records. We shall read the file line by line and extract records into this list. A for each loop, it streams lines from the file one by one. We have used the function file.readLines to stream the lines through i enumerable. This is an optimal way. The line is then split into an array on the comma separator and then pattern matching has been used with switch expression to extract a record or throw a format exception on failure. Please again remember that pattern matching works on C Sharp 11 or later. You will have to upgrade Visual Studio to compile for C Sharp 11 or later. If the record is successfully extracted, it is added to the list of bills. A stream writer is then opened with the using declaration so that the stream writer is automatically disposed when the object is no longer referenced. Link queue is used to order the records on bill amount and a for each loop is used to print them to the stream writer. And finally, we have again used link queue to find the sum of all bill amounts and write to the stream writer. I hope you can appreciate the brevity of this code, the simplicity of this code. Place the records.txt file on the desktop and run the project to verify that it works as expected. Thank you.